Hello friends, this is your friend Rakesh. I welcome all of you to my this video tutorial wherein I will teach you how you can do write back from Power BI data model to SQL database. It is going to be a very nice trick. So let's get started. I have these sample files available with me. These are the text files. So first we will be using Power Query to append all the data available in these text files append them in using power query and then we will be uploading that into power bi data model and from that power bi model we will write back all the available rows to sql database let me show you how we can do it we have successfully appended all the text files into our power bi in one table I show you how many rows we have in our Power BI data model. So it is around 3.2 million rows, and we will be sending these number of rows to SQL database. Let me show you how we can send or write back these number of rows from Power BI data model to SQL database. For this purpose, we will be using one external tool that is. DAX Studio. Let's click on DAX Studio. When I open DAX Studio, on the left we see that it is connected with our monthly files. I mean the table name of our Power BI data model. In order to write it back or send send the data from Power BI data model to SQL, we have to click on Advanced, then click on Export Data. When I do it, you will see that the SQL is one of the options. When I click on it, it will ask me all the all the details. So let's provide the details and proceed further. Here I have provided the server name and database. I am using Windows authentication, so no password or username is required. Schema, let it be DBO. I do not want to truncate, so remove it. Click on next. And now if you see it is giving me the number of tables that I have in my Power BI data model. So let it be as is. There is no hidden tables. So just untick this option. And this is going to be the name of the table in SQL database. Let me show you that I do not have a table name monthly files. So see, this is my table. Let me refresh this first. This is under Northwind. So once I refresh, you will see that I do not have a table named monthly files. Let's go back to DAX Studio and now I will click on the export. When I hit on export, you will see that it is writing or sending all the available rows in my Power BI data model to SQL database. Let's wait till it completes the sending back to the SQL. So now if you see we have successfully write back all the number of rows from Power BI. Let me show you this table. So let me take you to SQL database, click on table, then refresh. And yes, you see that this is the table that we have successfully write it back from Power BI to SQL. Let me write select. I simply account star and then from let's click on execute and you see that this count is matching with count the number of rows that we have successfully right right back from we had to see let me also show you the data set let's use top five and then Let's execute and see the data set also. So, yes, we had with this we have successfully write back all the number of rows available in Power BI data model to SQL table. This was very easy to do it. I hope you like this trick. If you want more such content, please subscribe my YouTube channel and do join my LinkedIn group. You will find the link of my YouTube and the LinkedIn group in the description. Thanks for joining in. Have a nice day.